Welcome to PixEditCom's advanced tutorial on forms processing. By using forms processing in PixEdit, you can extract text, numbers, and other types of data from scanned forms such as user polls to a database or save scanned forms using file names extracted from specific areas in each form. In this video, we will show you how to define a master form and then how to use this master form to execute basic forms processing, extracting text from a specific area and then use the extracted data as a file name for each form in a scanned batch. The files in this folder contain a small collection of scanned waybills with random file names. Let's open a waybill by dragging it into PixEdit. We will extract the new file name from this area in each document, then save each waybill in a specific folder. The form processing functionality in PixEdit offers data extraction from check marks, text, numbers, and more into formatted text or XML files that can easily be imported to a database or onto spreadsheets. In this video, however, we will create a basic master form that simply extracts a new file name from each sheet based on the notes proof of delivery number. We will make the master form from this randomly chosen but representative waybill. In this case, the document has only one page, but multi-page forms are also supported. By the way, it does not matter if the forms are scanned in color or monochrome or if they are stored in TIFF, PDF, or any other file format. To create the master form, let's click the Master Forms tool. PixEdit prepares and converts the waybill to a master form so we can define data extraction fields. As you can see, the tool style window now displays several data extraction options. The position of text and other data to be extracted will always vary from page to page. The reason may be small inaccuracies in the scanner's sheet feeder or in the printer during printout. For this reason, it is good practice to define an alignment mark in the master form. This enables the data extraction process to be very reliable. It does not matter what kind of graphics you use as an alignment mark, as long as this graphic is present on all pages to be processed and has a fixed distance from fields to be extracted. If the master form contains more than one page, you should define an alignment mark for each page. We begin by choosing Alignment in the drop-down list and then drag out an area, the surrounding graphics we want to use as the alignment mark. Here, we use the company logo as the alignment mark. During processing, each scanned sheet's position will be adjusted according to the alignment mark before the data is extracted. It is possible to define more than one alignment mark on each page, but we recommend using only one. If pages are skewed, they will be automatically straightened during forms processing. As you can see, the area we just defined has an orange color, indicating that the field is active for editing. When a field is active for editing, we can change field type and properties. To end editing of a field, click once outside the field. You will notice that the field color changes from orange to blue, so we can edit or define additional fields. To reactivate a field for editing, simply click it again. As mentioned previously, we will simply extract some text from a defined position on each page, in this case from Waybills, and then use this text as a file name for each proof of delivery. Let's zoom up using the control mouse wheel and define the text area. To specify the POD number on each page that should be used as the file name during forms processing, we first choose text from the drop-down list drag out an area surrounding the text, and then check Use This as Title Item. That's all. Let's save the master form under a name that makes sense, such as Waybill Master, and click Save. Now close it. The master form we just made can now be used to automatically save waybills during scanning using the proof of delivery number. The only thing we have to do to obtain this is to specify the master form we just made under the Forms tab in the After Scanning profile, as shown in a previous video. If we, in addition, make a separate profile for this type of scanning, we can quickly switch between this and other types of scanning in ScanBar. 
An after-scanning profile containing a form's processing specification can be used in a completely automated manner in DocServer, monitoring one or more folders that are being filled with waybills from, say, a fleet of multifunction printers. However, in this video we will show forms processing as a one-time job using Batch Wizard. Let's start Batch Wizard. As shown in earlier videos, Batch Wizard is a general purpose tool for one-time jobs such as format conversion, macro execution, or forms processing. Let's begin by clicking Next. We choose Process Selected Files as Forms and click Next. We quickly select the folder containing the raw scan delivery notes. Hit Control A to choose all files and click Next. Since we checked process selected files as forms earlier in Batch Wizard, this step displays various options for form processing. We choose the master form we just made, Waybill Master. As you remember, in this case, we will not extract any data except from getting the new file name from the delivery number on each waybill. It's therefore important this option has been checked. It's time to specify where to store the waybill under their new file name. Click Next. We select this folder and make sure that the storage format is PDF A. In cases where no storage of the scan sheets themselves is required, you can ignore these two settings. Again, click Next. Batch Wizard always shows a summary before executing a job. To start our forms processing job, click Finish. Each waybill is now loaded into PixEdit and resaved as a PDF with the extracted delivery number as the file name. Let's open Windows Explorer to show the generated files. As you can see, the resulting PDFs now all have names from their respective delivery number. As demonstrated here, one-time form processing jobs can be executed efficiently using Batch Wizard. However, if your organization needs to process a continuous stream of incoming forms from, say, a fleet of multifunction printers, you will find it more convenient to let the Doc Server window automatically handle such data streams. In addition to being completely automated, Doc Server processes in PixEdit are executed unattended in the background, so you can continue your ordinary daily PixEdit work such as scanning or document editing. 